An absolutely fantastic result then for Wolves and it ends Manchester City 100% winning start to the season. They're only one point clear now of Spurs who moved up to the second up to second after that result over Liverpool. Just a second win for Wolves, Cass. And, and yeah. we've seen them earlier this season, of course, where we've thought they've been unlucky to not get something out of games. You can go back to that game against Manchester United, for example, where they didn't get that penalty that they felt and actually since were told that they perhaps should have been awarded terrific terrific performance mm. from Wolves it wasn't one of those where they just sat back and and you know it was it was a great performance overall um we were talking uh, off air about the surprise that you had no Rodri mm. and yet Calvin Phillips wasn't in the starting mm. lineup he did play um Matias Nunes who of course as we know most recently was at Wolves and again we both spoke about would you really have played someone when the spotlight was on him for all very a number of different reasons, yeah. because he'd left Wolves, the manner of how he left Wolves, even Gary O'Neill had sort of said, "I mean, I'm intrigued to see what kind of reception he's going to get." Yeah. It just it was some some question marks well, was, maybe over decisions made by by Pep Guardiola in that one. Well, are you allowed to criticise one of the greatest, if not the greatest, yes, managers of, of all time? Yes, okay. of course. Now. Gary O'Neill said after the game, Rodri missing was a big plus. He makes their team tick. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he's out the team. Yeah. Calvin Phillips is the best replacement for Rodri. Now, you debate, most people say that Rodri is the best holding midfielder, not only in Europe, but probably in the world, or one of them. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And Pep has chosen not to play Calvin Phillips in there. And he's played Kovacic and Nunes, which are, then neither of them are holding midfielders. Kovacic, for me, wants to get on the ball and move it very, very quickly, but he's not nowhere near the tackler that I would say Calvin Phillips is or, obviously, Rodri. Mm. I, I, I didn't get it. When I saw the lineup. now, I thought... Well, what does that say for Calvin Phillips? Why would Calvin Phillips not be in that lineup? What does that say for his future? He did come on, we should point out. Yeah, he came on, came on for Kovacic. But yeah. if you're not even being picked, and, and everyone did the same, everyone just assumed if there's no Rodri... This is the chance for Calvin Phillips, and yet he's not even starting the game. No, it it, it felt like a decision trying to be too clever here. Mm. Now, trying to be too clever and accusing the greatest ma- or one of the greatest managers ever existed who proves us wrong week in, week out with how brilliant he sets up his teams. But that yesterday, and mm. I'm not taking anything away from Wolves. Wolves no, were, no, no. So Kilman was fantastic. I mean, Alex there talked about Dawson. I thought Kilman was fantastic in the game. Neto for the goal. Well, I know, you know, you. I, we were joking off air. We were saying, could we give goal, our goal of uh, the, the week? Could we give it to an own goal by yeah. uh, a Man City player? Well, I wanted to get on to Neto because actually we were talking about that yesterday when we were building we up to the game. Him, yeah, yeah. You, you highlighted, you know, if Neto is on form, he is at this moment in time, just unstoppable. We've yeah. seen it a couple of times already this season. That Down the right-hand side, as he's been playing mo- recently, he has been so impactful. And that goal all came about from him in a surging run. He be- yeah. beats Phil Foden comfortably, then beats Nathan Ake's attempted challenge, yeah. is able to get, get right down to the byline and then cross the ball. Unfortunately, as you say, Diaz. Diaz's leg gets in the way. Goal of goes. the week. But it was, it was a <laughs> tremendous, if you like, solo effort from Neto. Yeah. And it, it just shows you, look, Wolves are capable and they can spring an attack and, you know, and do it with absolute pace. And obviously Neto is, you know, one of the best at carrying a ball. He's similar to the way that Bright and Matona did, will do it. Yeah. He'll just carry and carry the ball. Yeah. Um, and, he, and he's brilliant at doing that. But I did think, look, City were really good in midweek against Newcastle for 45 minutes. And then Newcastle changed mm-hmm. around their tactics slightly and ended up, you know, he left Ireland out in midweek, but that's OK. It's a League Cup game. He decides that Ireland didn't get anything yesterday. You yeah. know, there wasn't anything. and He just had one chance in the game. Yeah, and it was, you know, I, I, I thought, and look, holding midfielder is really important to the way that City play. At their very best, they've had Fernandinho that was fantastic here. Obviously... They've had Rodri that's been brilliant here. Yesterday, they needed that option of having that player or that type of player, which Calvin Phillips does really well, is break up the play and start the play off from when he receives the ball. Mm. And they didn't have that yesterday. Um, Gary O'Neill, by the way, joins an exclusive club, if you didn't know this, in becoming only the second English manager to beat Pep Guardiola in 44 Premier League games. The other, Graham Potter, when he was in charge of Brighton back in 2021. So... 
That's not... I mean, maybe he'll put that on his bio. I don't know. <laughs> Just lastly then, um, and I know I, I don't want to necessarily completely focus on City because it is all about Wolves and that incredible victory, but are we seeing a little chink in the armour of City, Cast Because they've gone behind four times in their last five matches and now lost successive games. You mentioned that defeat to Newcastle as well in the League Cup. Is there a little chink there? Well, for the last six years, every now and again during the season, we'll look and say, if we go back to this time last year, we'd have probably said, <laughs> no, they're not quite as good. Unfortunately for everybody, this doesn't happen very often. Yeah. That City will just get going again and then go on an eight, nine, ten game run without being beaten. That's the sort of team they are. You got them on, look, they had a bad day. They didn't play particularly yeah. well. They didn't create like we know they can. Um, be normal service resumed pretty quickly for me with City. They are still the team to beat. Um, will Arsenal looking in, Liverpool, look, I mean, Liverpool lost. So Tottenham, you know, all teams at the top end of the table look and think, everyone will be shocked that City lost that game yesterday. Of course, I'm sure they will uh, be. And, you know, they'll move on really quickly. Well, they haven't got long, really, to dwell on it because they've got Champions League action. RB Leipzig, they're away to them in this coming week. And then they're at the Emirates. Arsenal, Man City next yeah. weekend. With so, no De Bruyne because De Bruyne was unbelievable at the Emirates last year. No De Bruyne um, quite. Um, interesting game. Well, I say interesting. I, I hate that word because it's just, it, it's a brilliant game. It's a brilliant game with so much weight carried on it yeah. from last season being number one and two. Uh, and our City broke them last year at the end of the season. And coming into this weekend, four Premier League teams were unbeaten. Two have lost that record now, City and Liverpool. Yeah. The only two unbeaten sides? North Cass? London teams. No. Yeah. North London sides. Spurs and Arsenal. And as I say, City go to Arsenal next in the Premier League.